What's going on there guys? Me, baby here back for another shave. Today is Sunday. So we are now on our seventh day of the self-isolation, the quarantine, whatever the hell you want to call it. So um, it's been a long week, man. There's no uh, way around it. Any of you guys that have watched any of my videos during the summertime, you guys know that I, I hate being home. I don't like just being here doing a whole lot of nothing. I feel very unproductive and I just get a little stir crazy being around the home. But with times being what they are, got to make sure we keep everybody else safe. Again, I am young. I am healthy. Um, so the likelihood that if I do catch it, I'd be fine. But don't want to spread it around to elderly people. We want to curve um, the rate of infection. So, you know, I'm following the rules, man. There's no point in being one of these dumb motherfuckers out here that are still going to crowded areas. Just still being fucking ignorant. Um, if you're one of those people, stop it. Stay your ass home. Uh, even though you may not be uh, one of the high-risk people, there are other people uh, out there that are. Uh, missing a little bit of sun for, for a few weeks isn't going to kill you. But you being out there and spreading that shit may kill them. So please be considerate of your neighbors and those people in your community. Uh, let's try to keep let's try to keep as many people safe as possible. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the shave. Today, I'm going to be using a soap that I had around the den for a while and have yet to use it. Today is going to be Captain's Choice. 45th parallel it's a cherry scented soap i love cherry i don't know how it is everywhere else but where i grew up everybody here always had the cherry air fresheners in the in their cars i don't know if it's an ethnic thing i don't know if it's a regional thing but here cherry air fresheners you go to the car wash that was the thing growing up i still love it to this day i got some of those cherry um those cherry scented uh air freshener trees i'm gonna throw in the truck later on I'm just waiting for there to be a time for me to use the truck more uh, than right now. So, there you are. So, any of you guys that have been following me on Instagram at the so.sharp.limited um, Instagram account, not my personal one, just the strictly shaving one, you guys seen me do a little bit of cleanup work on the Gillette Fat Boy. So, today that is what I'm going to be using. I don't know what it is, it hasn't been used in a while, and you may be able to see it, see some of that black stuff. I don't know what the hell it is. I don't know if that's tarnish being in the elements. It's not in much elements. It's just in my house. But, you know, it is what it is. But uh, Cape Cod uh, polishing cloths is what I used. And it made a huge difference. Um, it took a while. I had to put a little elbow grease into that shit. But it worked out pretty well. So here we are with the July Fat Boy. And today, again, I thought I'd do it again. Another synthetic brush. Today, we're going to go with the Wolf Whiskers. Love the handle. In terms of synthetic, synthetic knots, is one of the, the knots I like the most. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of synthetic knots in general, but I'm a huge fan of hardware. In the brush world, my favorite stuff are the two band uh, silver tip two Manchurian style knots. Those are extremely expensive, man. So. I, I just got to try to warm up to these a little bit. I'm going to try to use synthetic a little bit more and see if I just can't fall in love with them like a lot of uh, you guys in the community have. Because for these badger brushes, a lot of the times, the knot's more expensive than the handle. And I just love getting shade brushes. Hardware in general. Razors, whether it be straight razors or safety razors, brushes, I love it. I would much rather and I get much more excited getting hardware than I do the software, which is the soap after saves and so on and so forth. So I may have used Captain's Choice soap before. I don't, I probably could just Google, I could just search on my YouTube channel to see if I have. I believe I have. I think it's just a middle of the road type of soap. It'll get the job done. At least from what I remember before. This is a vegan soap. Uh, yeah, I don't see any type of uh, tallow in this. So it is a vegan soap. I'm gonna load heavy, make sure I can get as dense of a soap as possible. Again, I don't need the huge volume, but I do like a dense lather. So, wet the face a little bit. Sorry again if you can hear the water with all of us stuck at home. Uh, pretty much that's what we're doing. We're washing clothes a lot. A lot, a lot of clothes being washed. So, 
it seems like every time I shave, no matter what time I shave, whether it's daytime, nighttime, whatever, that washer is going. So there's always a lot of debate on what's better. Uh, whether you like vegan or tallow soaps. Most soaps, generally speaking, like this one, this is a vegan. You can see the consistency of the lather. There's not a lot of air bubbles in this, but you see how it's not as rich as some of the other ones. You can still really see my skin tone kind of blowing through here. It's a lighter weight lather. You can feel the weight difference on your face. A nice tallow, buttery filled ass uh, lather. You feel a difference. The one exception that I know offhand is going to be the Crown King formula from Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. Doug and Fran, that, that, that formula, even their original Crown King and their Crown, uh, their, their CK6, their lather is the heaviest. Doesn't have to be so much in volume, but you feel the weight of their lather on your face. And that's a good thing. In my opinion, I love that dense richness to it. That's why generally I do lean towards, 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 yeah towards tallow based soaps because they have a tendency to be that richer, denser. Now, denser, denser doesn't always have to be mean in volume, but it has a denser one. This one, it's just real lightweight. And then the color. I don't know if you guys can really catch it on the cell phone camera, but just trust me on this. It just has a lighter color to it. White is white, I guess, but um, in terms of the, the thick and richness of that color. So let's go ahead and get started i have the gillette fat boy set at a five it's been a long time since i used the fat boy i don't even remember what setting i like so we're just gonna try it out uh i think i want it a little bit more aggressive than that so make sure when you're adjusting this you open up the doors i guess do uh adjusting the the aggressiveness when it's closed i guess can mess up the gears i guess that's putting them through some pressure Today I have a Persona Lab Blue in this. Usually I leave the Persona Lab Blues for Rocio. These are her favorite blades, but they were right there on the on the dresser that we had them on. And I just finished, yeah, you know, like a couple of days ago, organizing all my blades by by a brand and all that. So I kind of didn't want to mess up the box. I have them in a cigar box. Yeah, so I was just like, yeah, I'll leave them nice for a couple more days. So I just grabbed this. It was uh, right on top. Out of all the vintage Gillette razors that I've used, I've used the blue tip. I used the red tip. I've used, um, I used the slim. I've used the black beauties or the super speeds. Um, in my opinion, the Fat Boy is the smoothest shaving. You would think the head sh shape would be the same, since they're pretty much the same thing, just different materials, or uh, with like the slim, just the handle is longer, pretty much. But no, they do shave differently. I don't find I don't find the slim or the or the Black Beauty to be nowhere near as. Got a little pimple right here. I just went over it. I may or may have not, not cut it. If I did, no, that's not a big deal. So, I'm gonna drop this. Yeah. So even though, if you're somebody that's in the market for the vintage Gillette, hmm, it hurts. Hmm. If you are in the market for vintage Gillette, I, I would uh, suggest a fat boy. They are a little bit more expensive than the slim or the super speeds. But I like those the most. Second would be the red tip. That's going to be a butterfly style door system, but it's not an adjustable. I, I like how the... And they have a black tip, don't they? I think they have a black tip. I've used it, if, but still, I believe. So 
So yeah, if I would recommend, it would be Fat Boy first, and the Red Tip second. One day I would still love to send this in to Matt Passarsic go over at Razor Emporium and get it replayed. You know, just give it the full words, just to keep it, you know, going for another fucking. 50 years this one right here this particular one is from 1959 i don't remember what the date was but i just looked it up when i was uh when i was cleaning it up a couple days ago so this soap the performance it's super slick love the slickness on it the scent doesn't linger much when you smell it from the pup, it smells nice and strong of that cherry. Um, it's not a sweet cherry like if you're going to get like the jar of maraschino cherries. It's just, it's just a nice, a uh, little bit more on the natural side of cherry things. But, unfortunately, the, the cherry scent doesn't, doesn't linger around. If you want a soap where the cherry in it sticks out a lot and hangs around, uh, Tokyo Rose from from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. That one is just is super. It just it just livens up everybody, and that's part of the experience. Is it necessary? Is that even remotely necessary for a good shave? No, but I prefer the whole restaurant. I like everything. Just the smell of the shave. It's just it's it sets up the ambiance. It just I like it. Additionally, just with like a, a super thick, rich lather. Is that necessary for a good shave? No, but I prefer it. It's kind of like if any of you guys smoke cigars, I smoke cigars. And do you need big out smoke output for the cigar to be flavorable, flavorful and enjoyable? No, I prefer it though. There's just something satisfying about having good smoke output from the cigar. That's how I feel about the shave soap. Not necessary. Do I need all the, the, the fancy butters and, and and the tallow? No, but it's a preference for me. So, so this soap after today will probably go into the starter kit pile. If I want to need a starter kit, it'll be sent off. It's nice and slick. Easy to lather, but again, it's just a little thin for my liking. And this thinness is with a synthetic brush. If I was using a badger brush, you'd probably get a situation where the lather would start dissipating even more. Lather stability is much better on a synthetic than on a natural hair. Why that is, I don't know. I don't know the science behind it, but that's just something that I feel is true. For my case use. Third and final pass. Bam. If you hear some music, forgive me. Um, AJ is listening to some weird shit. I don't know. Crazy little update on life though, where I, you know, I started the video off talking about coronavirus. Uh, my younger daughter's boyfriend um, tested positive for coronavirus. He's already in the back end of the sickness. He didn't need to go to the hospital. He had a fever for a couple days. A couple tough nights, not unlike a flu. Um, he tested negative for influenza, he tested negative for strep or whatever. They tested him for all that, all that shit. He tested positive for Corona. And he's already on the back end of stuff. Uh, he spent maybe about three days, uh, sick. Like, pretty messed up. And then after that, it was already, he already got over the hump and he was feeling much better. Unfortunately, my daughter does live with him. Uh, so we have to, she has to self-isolate, she has to quarantine. Uh, for a couple weeks Because here we have my mother-in-law She's an elderly woman We can't risk getting her sick That's when it becomes dangerous So even though we would love to see her We would love to be there helping her through this We can't risk bringing something home Rocille's really struggling with it Because she wants to be there for her She loves 
I love the kids. But Rocio, our, a mother's love, I think is a little bit different. The, the emotions, I think, are a little bit different. And so she's taking it hard not being able to take care of her daughter. But so far, she's asymptomatic. She's not showing any symptoms of it. If you're not here, I don't know how it is everywhere else, but here they are not testing you at all. If you don't show a lot of the symptoms, she's not showing any symptoms. And I guess it's my understanding that, that you could have it and never show symptoms. So I don't know what's her situation. I don't know if eventually we'll start to show. She's had to have been exposed for at least, well, they live together. So if it takes four to 10 days, to uh, four to 12, four to uh, four to 10 days or something like that to show symptoms, say it was on the four, the four days. Now we're about five, six days if he had it. So she's already about the 10. So if she doesn't start showing symptoms probably in these next couple days, I think she's probably safe, but still keep her away for at least a few weeks. Um, before we let her back uh, back around for my mother-in-law's sake so i'm um, holding this hope for that if you got if you are a spiritual religious person please uh pray for her on that i would really appreciate it so that wraps up the shave it was fantastic the slickness on this soap is absolutely top quality um if you're somebody that doesn't care uh whether it's vegan or tallow again doesn't have to be tallow for me to use it um Soap Commander soaps are the slickest soap I've ever used. Still to this day, that's my opinion. Nobody can tell me different. They are a vegan soap and they are the slickest shit I've ever used. Low. I have four of them right over here. So I do keep those around. Um, Captain's Choice. Because I just feel it's kind of like uh, the slickness is great. But aside from that, the scent didn't really well up, which I like. Part of the experience. Um. I don't know the individuals that run Captain's Choice, so um, I'm not going to lie. If it's my friend's product, I'm going to probably use them more or even keep it around because if it's not one of the best products because they're the homies. Um, this one, going to go into to the starter kit. Easy to lather, easy to use, great slickness, but it just doesn't give me all the, the little secondary things that I need. To get the most out of my shaves. And not in terms of performance or face feel. But just the experience of shaving. Um, if I didn't want a good experience shaving. I'd just use a cartridge and some just shave gel. But no. I I have all these soaps. There's no reason for me to use a soap. that doesn't give me everything that I want. And that's kind of the situation with this soap. It's good. It's solid. Um, by the time I post this. I'll have a link to their website. If they still offer this stuff. Um, I didn't check beforehand because, well, fuck, I just don't care to. But aside from that, it's solid. Just so you guys can take a look again. Captain's Choice 4th Parallel. If you guys do like a cherry soap, definitely recommend getting it. It does smell nice. It's not the scent strength that I would like. And if you know me, I don't require a super strong one. But this is, it ends up pretty light. It ends up pretty light. So that's a little bit unfortunate. If it was a little bit stronger, I probably kept it. If it just gave me uh, just a little bit more, I'd probably keep it because I love cherry. This just was enough. So, anyways, thank you guys for joining me. Oh, again, one last look at the fat boy. And just a beautiful brush. Wolf whiskers. I got that smoke gray at the bottom with the black on top. Beautiful. If I don't warm up to that, not a little bit more. Again, in terms of synthetic knots, it's one of the best out there. But I just prefer natural hair. So, if I don't warm up to it a little bit more, I may end up taking out that synthetic knot and putting a two band. They just get expensive. They get expensive, and I just can't always afford that. So, here we are. Oh, and Sebastian. If you notice it's a little bit smaller, it is. It actually, a bunch of shit rushed out of it. I know some of you probably don't care. It's a little bit gross. There's still some stuff in there, but a bunch of shit came out of it. So, I wish I would have got that on video. That probably would have been entertaining. But, I don't know what's going to happen with this. I don't know if I'm still going to need to cut out. Not everything has come out. We'll see. I'm going to fuck with it a little bit more. And hopefully, I can get it all out. So, Either way, so, hey, thank you guys for joining me up to this point. I appreciate you. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you on the next video.